In this lesson, we're going to learn how to walk the basses in the key of G. And the song that we will use for this is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Let me play through the entire chord progression for you with the walks, and then we'll talk about what walks I'm using. So we're using the standard alternating bass pattern for the G chord, which would be 6th strong and 4th strong. Now at the beginning of the song we have two G's before we go to two C's. Instead of doing a complete pattern with that second G, which would be 6th strong, 4th strong, I'm going to give up that 4th strong for my walk. So what I'm going to do for this second G is 6th strong, walk, walk. Now this walk is my 5th string open followed by the second fret. These two tones are A and B, and they are the two notes in the alphabet before the name of the chord I'm going to. What matters with the walk isn't so much of which chord you're on, what matters is which chord you're going to. And in this case, I'm going to the C chord. So I try to pick two letters out of the alphabet before the chord I'm going to. In this case, A and B, because that's the two letters in the alphabet before C. So fifth string open, followed by the second fret. That's A and then B. Then I go to the C chord, and I have two measures of this. And remember with the C chord, when we're doing the alternating bass pattern, we hit the fifth string and strum. For the sixth string strum, the third finger moves up to the top string third fret in the fretting hand. So we'll wind up hitting the sixth string third fret when the pick moves to that. These two Cs are just regular C chords. No walks here. Then I have two G's followed by two D's, and we'll put the walk in on the second G going to the D. Here's what it will sound like. So the walk to the D will be the two letters in the alphabet before the letter D, and that would be B, C, because that's the two letters in the alphabet before D. So B is our fifth string second fret, C is the third fret. So if I'm going from those two G's before the D, I'll have this, a full G, half of a G, six strum, walk, walk. And that's that B, C, and then I go to the D chord, fourth strum, fifth strum, fourth strum, fifth strum. And that's the first line. Let me play it again for you. Let me play the second line. So we have two G's. The second one walks up to the C. Here's our A, B. Then we have two C's. One G, one D, two G's. And the second G will walk to the D, which is at the beginning of the third line. So at the end of the second line, we'll have our walk B, C, taking us to the D chord on the third line. Now, let me play that third line for you. So we 
have two D's. Then we have two G's. And the second one will walk to the C chord. So A, B. Then we have one C chord, one G. And then we have two D's. And this second D, we're not going to complete it because we have to walk to the G at the beginning of the fourth line. That's how we walk to a G. Top string open, and then second fret. So those two Ds at the end of the third line will have. Fourth line. just like the second line. We'll have two G's. The second one will walk to the C. Two C's. One G. One D. And then two G's. And there will not be a walk on the second G because we're not walking to any chord from here. We will stay on the G. So now, once again, let me play through the entire song with all the walks. That's what a friend we have in Jesus in the key of G with the walking basses.